Uh, that's a lot to type, <laughs> but I guess now I'm talking to you. Uh, so I'm just going to record this and uh, I'll, I'll send it to you. Um, the tradition itself creates the genocides. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot to say about that. Um, I know it's a kind of bizarre thing to say. Um, and I guess like, so in Warsaw, the Nazis gathered all the Jews together and compressed them in an area, um, just a few square miles. There was half a million people. Um, and they cut off access to resources, food and medical care. And, uh, then in the last few years of the ghetto, uh, there's a typhus epidemic. I just went through um, and I remember being at Yad Vashem, the Holocaust Museum, and uh, listening to the museum curator <laughs> giving her talk, and she's talking about the Warsaw Uprising, how in the final months of the ghetto, a group of Jews uh, armed themselves and, and staged a rebellion, and, and she talked about it in this incredibly righteous way you know like what what would you do like if you were in situations like this like of course you would fight back there's no other option we need to protect our people and it just made me think about gaza <laughs> where there's a million gazas gazans literally in a large open air jail i don't know gaza's like 10 square kilometers or something is covid19 there they have basically no hospitals, uh, no access to food, good food, even. <laughs> Total embargo. Um, and then Moss shoots rockets over the wall every once in a while, and then Israel comes in and bombs them. It's been like that for decades. Um, people can't go in and out. So that's... A little bit of what I mean when I say that uh, the tradition creates genocides, that trauma begets trauma, um, and it's just, that's what makes it trauma, is that it, it is so powerful that it is self-creating, <laughs> right? Um, and these traumas have been happening for thousands of years, and our holy texts write about them in this way. Um, yeah, I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it does.